CopBlock is a decentralized project supported by a diverse group of individuals united by their shared goal of police accountability. We highlight the double standard that some grant to those with badges by pointing to and supporting those harmed. By documenting police actions, whether they are illegal, immoral, or just a waste of time and resources, then putting direct pressure on the individuals responsible, ideally while recording and then later sharing. Hi, I'm Ademo. Hi, I'm Pete. I went to school for law enforcement. I was harassed by police in my hometown. Despite pledges of serving and protecting, I saw firsthand the lack of accountability. I saw the reactive nature of policing and realized that quite simply, Policing could not be fixed through an internal investigation or complaint, but only by making transgressions transparent. Do you know of things your colleagues may have done that would be, uh, you may arrest us for doing? No problem. I started CopLock.org as a peaceful way to help get police accountability. We like to say the camera is the new gun. We'll be around all weekend, so hopefully you guys don't freak out. They're just cameras. We do not hate cops. We believe that no one, not even those with badges, has extra rights. The failure to realize and act on that is to our own detriment. I'm a, a law-abiding person. I think we have the same rights, regardless of if we have badges or not. Nothing personal, man. We don't hate cops, dude. We just wish the institution was better serving the people. By focusing the disinfectant light of transparency on public officials, we safeguard not just our rights, but those of future generations. Why do you refuse? Why does this officer refuse to identify himself? You all pay his salary, but he won't identify himself. Why is that? From the beginning, the site was decentralized. We started getting video submissions from others who also recognize the value in recording police interactions. The diversity of content shows just how widespread the problem of police accountability is. We seek to empower individuals with the knowledge, tools, and outlets to stand up for their rights, to call out the would-be aggressors, no matter if they wear a badge, and to support others wronged by police unaccountability. That transparent record holds everyone accountable. And that message makes sense to a lot of people. In fact, cop lock offshoots are being founded in cities and states as others act on their ideas. You have the right to film police. It's better to film a police interaction and not need it than to not film a police interaction and need it. After all, should you find yourself in court, if it's just your word against someone else's who wears a badge, who is the judge most likely going to side with? If and when you are recording police interactions, know your line and what you're comfortable with. Hello, Manchester. Cowblock.org. People with badges don't have extra rights. It's not heroic to steal people's money to pay your salary. If possible, have a buddy with you that is also able to film. Each additional camera and angle on the scene will act as a safeguard. As you walk towards the scene, do some narration. Even if you never use that footage, it's good practice. Approach a scene in view of the police employee. You don't want anyone to be startled by your presence. Instead, think about how your presence can help bring about a favorable conclusion for all involved. Give the date, time, and location. Give an overview about what you see and how you arrive there. Capture and say or spell out the license plates or squad number or badge numbers and names of officers on scene. After this stop concludes, you might want to do follow up with the parties involved. Question the actions of the police employee. Was this the best use of their time? Was there a victim? Is this how you would like to see tax dollars spent? Is there any victim here? Ask the person stop for details on what happened. If they desire access to the content you captured, be sure to provide them your contact information. Yeah, yep. For the warning, All you right. People. Thank you very much. You never know who might one day be standing next to you with a camera in their hand or supporting you at court.
Getting pulled over can be a drag. Oh. But knowledge is power. And what you know can make the difference between a stop going like this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, 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 hey. Who do you think you are? Excuse me. To making a stop go like this. All right, drive safe, okay? Okay, thank you. It was like the fastest traffic stop ever in two minutes. You never know if you might have a police interaction, so always carry a camera. If you have a smartphone, download one of the many free apps to stream content live to the internet. So even if your phone is seized or destroyed, the footage will be safe. If you are stopped on the street, ask if you are being detained. Are we being detained? Are we free to go? If you're told that you're not being detained, then you are free to go. Walk away. Per the law, if I'm not being detained, I have not broken any law, I, I do not need to produce identification, so I'm going to leave the scene in a peaceful manner. I wish you guys a good day. If you are told that you are being detained, then you can choose to not engage in conversation. You have the right to remain silent. Well, am I under arrest? No. Okay, then I'm not talking to you. Oftentimes, police ask seemingly non-invasive questions to gain information that is later used against you or someone else. Don't help that process. And never consent to a search. You live over in Keene, sir. You don't have to answer these questions. What are you headed to right now? May I ask why that's relevant? At some point, you may be told to stop filming. Turn it off. How come? Are you filming me? Yes. Turn it off for me. I don't think I'm going to do that, sir. This is usually the most important time to record. I do. I would just like to keep everybody accountable. Do what? I would like to keep everybody accountable in this situation. Meaning, uh, me, you, the, everybody. If I had the option on whether or not I got to pay for the service that the police provide, I would be happy to give you the option of being filmed. But you should also know that there is a chance you could be arrested. I'm not shutting it off, officer. Where are you going to jail? Excuse me. Just know where your line is and what you're comfortable with and act accordingly. No victim, no crime. We all pay your salaries, we'd like you to go home. Connect and collaborate with those who know that badges don't grant extra rights. Visit CopBlock online at copblock.org, facebook.com slash copblock, twitter.com slash copblock, and youtube.com slash the copblock.